Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So I'm collecting my stuff. Now they give you a thing. If you want to watch an ad to get a free item from the crate, it gives you one extra item from your bronze crate. Personally, it's just not worth it to me. We got a Legends thing. They're all locked, of course. Hypercar stuff, all locked. There is there is a 20x chance to get the Regira up here. But today's video, guys, all right, you got to remember this channel is here for brand new people as well as anybody else. So some of these videos are aimed towards beginners. And something I'm getting asked lately, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover two things in this video. All right, how to change your name and how to get fusion parts for your cars. So first off, if you would like to change your name, all you do is click on this little guy right here, pop this out. Now up at the top, you've got these little tabs. All right, click on the one here and click on profile. Now where you see your name, click on that. This little thing pops up, click on that, and the text box comes up. And you can change your name to anything you want as long as it's within the amount of uh, letters or whatever you have here. Then you just hit OK. And bam, your name has changed, okay? And you're, on this game, you're allowed to change your name as much as you would like. Some games only let you name, change your name like once or twice or something. This game, you can change it every day if you want. It doesn't matter. I change mine all the time because sometimes I got win-lose, which for people who want to swap and trade wins in live racing. And when I don't want to do that, I can easily just change my name and take the win-lose part out. And then go in and try and win every live race, okay? Now, fusion parts. How to get fusion parts? Well, unfortunately, that's not great. So if you go into rare imports, you're going to see part crates. Now, for example, right now, you can go into where it says parts. And the Prestige Cup car has a parts crate available for 700 bronze keys. So you can, you can spend all of your bronze keys to get parts for the current Prestige Cup car. Or you can get you can spend your bronze keys to get parts for random Legends cars. The Legends parts crates really aren't that great because there's, there's a bunch of Legends cars and you don't know which one of these it's going to give you parts for. It can give you parts for any of the Legends cars. It's not for a specific car. Now the Prestige Cup car, every season there's a parts crate for this. Anytime there's an event, there's always parts, part crates for the event cars. And the parts crates are a great way to get parts for certain cars but unfortunately if there's not a part crate av available for the car that you're wanting to get parts for there might not be a good way to get parts for it. and it kind of sucks but now if you go into the dealership you can buy and strip certain cars let's just say you have a bmw that you want to get parts for so you would go into the dealership here you would come over and you would find bmw all right here it is. Now, BMW has several models that you can buy, and then you can strip these to get parts. All right, so for example, which ones can you buy? Let's find out. Okay, the 325i, you can buy these and strip them. The M4, you can buy those and you can strip them. So there's two of two BMWs available to buy and strip to get extra fusion parts for BMWs. Now, if you do get a stage six part, say you strip an M4 and it gives you a stage six part, that stage six part is only going to work on the BMW M4 and none of the other BMWs in the game. Okay, stage six parts are spe car specific. Now I will show you something else. So if you do have a um, only certain manufacturers are available to buy with real with game cash. Okay, most cars you can't just go into the dealership there and buy them and strip them. There's only a certain few few certain manufacturers where you can. But if you see this little button here that says info, if you click on this and then hit inventory and go over to your stage six parts. And now we're gonna click on BMW. We're just doing BMW for the heck of it. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the M4. 
Now you'll see this, Amelia's LBM4, the LBM4, and the regular M4. So these three cars share stage six parts. So if you buy and strip those BMW M4s from the dealership and it drops a stage six part, those stage six parts can be used on any three of these cars right here. Now, if you had an M4 GTS, unfortunately, you can't use these, okay? M4 GTS, you would have to strip an M4 GTS or a Varus M4 GTS in order to get parts for those. If you wanted parts for an M5 competition, you would actually have to strip an M5 competition and hopefully hope that it drops parts. And most of these cars you cannot buy. You have to pull them out of crates. Never strip a car unless you have more than one of it, okay? You always want to keep one of everything. You always want to keep one of everything because you never know when you're going to need a car for some sort of event. So if you happen to get two BMW M5 competitions, strip the second one, keep the one that you like the best, and strip the other one. And if you're really lucky, it might drop a stage six part. All right, as you'll see... Some cars I have a lot of stage six parts for, other cars I have hardly any. So the thing is, when you've been playing for a while, you do accumulate a lot of fusion parts, you accumulate a lot of stage six parts, all right? For like Hondas, I mean, some cars I have a bunch of them, some cars I ha hardly have any. Like, I don't really have that many Honda fusions. I'm really short on the pink ones, so if I wanted to upgrade another Honda, I would be very short on the pink fusions. Let's see, Bentleys. I just dumped a bunch of parts into my Bentleys. But I do have a lot of stage six laying around. So I got enough for a GT Continental Speed. I got all the stage six for that. I could care less about that car. I don't want to build one of those though. Um, let's let's just go ahead and look through some of these other ones. Whoops. Back to the inventory. Let's see, Ferrari. I got a pretty decent amount of parts for Ferraris. If I look at stage six parts, I have enough to build almost a couple more of those. Not quite, but some cars, you know, you just... People ask, how do you have so many stage six parts? Well, I've been playing so long, you just accumulate these things over time. All right, so I know what... Usually, a lot of times I get a, I got a, I get a uh, Prestige Cup car... And people say, how did you get so many parts for it already? Well, the game just gives parts out. It takes for, it takes a really long time to collect all that stuff, but if you keep playing, eventually, all right, eventually you're going to get all that stuff. All right, some more junk in the news. I'm not too interested in reading that. Let's see what's on the map today. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Crew cups. We got a brand new crew cup. We got a brand new supply cup. Always make sure you do your crew cups, guys. If you're in a crew, make sure you do these because, those. I mean, look at those rewards. Three races. All you got to do is race three times, and you get all that, all those respect points. That's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and run through those three races really quick. Hopefully, I, you guys understand my video. I feel like I'm kind of, like, not focused today and kind of babbling. I'm kind of feeling eh and out of it, so hopefully this video made sense. Hopefully I'm not babbling on too much. Those weren't great shifts, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. These crew cups are super easy. As long as you have a car that's like somewhat upgraded, it should blow through the crew cups like it's nothing. All right, let's do these three races, then let's look at what else is on the map. But usually the first thing I do every morning is I collect all of my free crates when I get on here. I run through any of these little short races like this. I make sure I do the, uh... Ooh, really bad shifts there. I don't like this car. I make sure I do the, uh, daily battle. All right, that always gives you something. Sometimes it gives you some silver keys, which is really good. I make sure I do the Creek Crew Cup. There's a new one available. When you're doing the Crew Cups, though, usually those are on the map for a couple days. So if you guys have already got the prizes for the Crew Cup, there's no point in racing it a second time unless you just want the game cash that it gives you for the race. Mm -hmm. 
but if you've already co collected the prizes and you do it a second time, in my opinion, you just wasted your, uh, wasted your gas. Alright, there we go. Three quick races. What else is on the map today? I'm definitely going to do that supply cup later. I'm going to come over here and do the daily battle really quick because that's going to give me some sort of awesome prize. Sometimes it's awesome, sometimes it's terrible. Let's see what we get today. But just doing stuff like this, all these events give out prizes. So if you run through all the daily races, sometimes you get stage 6 parts, sometimes you get fusion parts. You just never know what you're going to get. I almost always try to hit my nitrous on third gear when doing these daily battles. For some reason, it just works on third gear. I've never lost a race because I've hit nitrous on third gear, but I have lost races by hitting nitrous on second gear in the daily battles. And then I had to come back and try it again later and the car needed nitrous on third gear. So that's a good daily battle tip is hit your nitrous on third gear and it almost it always works for some reason. All right, we got the Trinity Cup up there. We got the supply cup, so I definitely got to do that. That's a lot of respect points on the board. That's going to give away some fusion parts. Um, two days, five hours until this new, new thing starts. So these are the cars you can use, huh? It looks like my my Lamborghini Huracan is going to be the fastest one for me, I believe. Yep. This is the Elite Showdown, so I guess any of the cars that are in here, you're able to use your Elite Customs stuff on. Well, they're available for the Showdown, which is cool. Got that little mark there telling me that I've got some prizes available to collect. And Service Trial, what's on here? Alright, this is going to give away a Stage 6 part and some Fusion parts, so you want to make sure you run through this. And yep. I think this wraps up this video, so catch you guys later. See ya.